Hi, welcome back to Old Tavern Farm. I am in my garden and my husband is running the tractor right over there. So you might hear some banging and grinding and growling. He's disking up our old garden, the other garden. And we have very rocky soil. So um, you'll, you'll probably hear some clanking and cracking and all that good farm stuff. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video because we had a killing frost last night and I'm, I'm happy. I love the seasons, but I'm kind of bummed, going bummed because it got my lima beans. So this is my lima bean patch right here. And as you can see, these leaves, these plants, not too happy with the, uh, with the cold weather we had last night. So it looks like we're done with lima bean season. Um, sadly, I was hoping maybe we could just eke out a little, a uh, few more days, but I'll show you uh, right here is a group of um, pods. And I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna reach over here behind me. I saw some, I'll have to, I'll have to pick them. But <clears throat> this is, basically how they looked this morning and I can actually see the beans back here through the, as the sun. I wish I could get that shot for you, but um, I'll still use these, but I wanted to show you the difference in these that got frost bit and these that I picked yesterday before the frost. See, this is a much brighter, a brighter yellow and this has sort of, you know, sort of a, that's the wind. <laughs> Um, a much uh, sort of darker, um, almost glossy look to them, and these have a more of a sunny look to them. Um, these were ready to pick yesterday, so I went ahead and picked a, a basket full. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, I got a basket here. I'm just going to toss those right in there. Um, but I love the seasons, um, and that's why we moved here, because I do love this region um, that has four distinct seasons. Um, but... We had a really short summer this year. It was really hot in July, and um, and that was helpful for these uh, these beans. So I'll I'll get a I will get a lima bean harvest thankfully because they're my favorite bean in the world and fresh or even frozen. They can be fr uh, frozen, eaten fresh, or dried. Um, by the way, they like um, slightly acidic to neutral soil, full sun, in a spot where it's going to be sunny all day. There's I think he might have to be like hitting it with a hammer or something. <laughs> he's a tractor mechanic, so he knows what he's doing. Don't worry. Um, but uh, full sun and as long as um, not too hot temperatures, they can tolerate hot temperatures. They prefer like 70 degrees, just like me. That's probably why I like them because they like the same, <laughs> the same temperatures that I do. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to, break it open so you can see. I'm just going to run my finger along the edge. It's helpful to have fingernails when you're shelling beans. And then I'm just going to try to pop it open for you guys so you can see the limas in there. Now these are <clears throat> what you would see in the grocery store called um, baby limas. And they're, to they're totally fine. They're delicious as they are. Trying to but I'm going to open one that was really this one that I picked yesterday. I'm going to open that one too, just for fun. And so you can kind of see that they can get really large. Um, and, and I like them a little bit larger because they kind of provide more bulk, more food, if you will. Um, dear, oh dear, I wonder what's stuck in the tractor. We have a, we have a, a 200 year old property here and sometimes there's artifacts and things that pop up at the ground. So, um, so this is the one that I picked yesterday. You can see it's a little drier. It's not as sort of um, juicy-ish looking. And that juicy nature of this one, wherever it went. Oh, here it is. Um, that sort of juicy looking. That's by nature of the pod having been frozen. So here is my clumsy attempt at showing you the difference between the one that got frozen and the one that I picked yesterday. 
so um so anyway but that's okay that's okay you know you take what you what you can get and this year we're taking it all <laughs> um, my freezer's getting full and I'm really happy with that so I'm out here picking beans this morning it's a gorgeous um, cool breezy day um, and we're only gonna get into the 50s today um, fireplace is running inside so it's just the most beautiful fall that we've had here in many years um, it's been really hot the last few years all the way up till it snowed <laughs> so you know you take what mother nature gives and um, this year it has just been beautiful so um, so we've had a tough a tough year in some ways um, and then mother nature has um, has sort of given us a few little compensations to to make us um, uh, to help us get through so so anyway that's the tour of the frozen froze frost damaged um, frost damaged lima bean uh, patch and um, these will go into the compost pile when we dig them up they'll go into the compost pile and um, get ready for the soil for next year so once again thank you for visiting big hugs hug 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 Bye-bye.